Welcome back to Improvision Entertainment. My name is Hunterman, and this is Tropico 6. Now, it should be noted that um, today is a grab bag day, as it says up there, and this is likely not going to be the game that is going to be played right now or for this sitting, but I'm going to refresh myself real quick while I'm waiting on people to show up for um, voting, and um, I'm going to do quick tutorial stuff. And I was like, hey, you know, my first experience is with Tropico 6, might as well, like, get people in the know what's going on. So, I have played Tropico's, I believe, 3, 4, and 5, definitely 4 and 5. Can't remember if I played 3 or not, I think so. I think I played 3. Yoink. Welcome to Tropico. You are El Presidente, the dictator of Tropico, a small but thriving nation located somewhere in the Caribbean Sea. You will build, expand, trade, and issue laws to guide Tropico through four turbulent historical eras in which you have to face global superpowers while trying to juggle interior political factions. How will you be remembered as a benef benevolent leader who caters f uh, for the people or as a dictator ruling with an iron fist? Whatever you choose. The main thing is that you stay in charge. Hola, Presidente. It is I, your loyal penultimo, with a workout in your mighty brain. A mortality, I know, for one of your brilliance. Yet even a political savant must stay in practice. Please demonstrate a few of the leadership techniques with which you intend to impose your flawless will upon the nation of Tropico. Penultimo is prepared to gasp in awe. Complete all tutorial tasks, zero, 04. Um, I am not in a good place for this. I'm in actually a bad place for this. Hold on. You know, first episode things where you gotta... Just first episode things. Uh... One second. Okay, so now that I've done that part, pardon me, I have to move myself. What the hell? I don't know. I have no idea what just happened there. Okay. Excuse me. Also, that seems like a lot of wide space for that. Oh, I think this was for Bomberman before. That's what was going on. Uh, edit transform. Ah! What the hell is that moving? It's moving a thing I can't even see. Butamus. This is a uh, this is all saved for YouTube. Hi YouTube, how you doing? This is a uh, first episode shenanigans. There we go. I seem to be out of the way now, so we'll go with that. All right. You just met Penultimo, your personal assistant and most loyal consultant. Erp. He has presented a main task which you need to complete in order to finish the first tutorial lesson. Main tasks are automatically accepted and displayed with a golden icon in the task tracker on the left side of the screen. Um, the task tracker lists all the tasks you receive and display a short summary as well as your progress on the objective. Objectives of each tutorial lesson is completed certain Number of tasks. Okay. This is the first tutorial task to complete. You will need to complete each tutorial task to finish the lesson. Hello, Rick! Like the main task, the tutorial tasks pop up automatically and are displayed in the task tracker after accepting them. You can still access all tasks, including their texts and all their objectives in the task screen. Now follow the objective list one by one to complete this task. Open the task screen and view each current task. Accept. Um, is that left trigger? Oh. How are you doing this fine afternoon? 
Uh, it is my intention to do grab bag. If you, Molly, and anybody else wants to vote on what games I'm going to play, or if you want to see more of Tropico, which is I've only just barely begun the tutorial, uh, we could do that too. Hola, Presidente. It is I, your loyal penultimo. I work uh, with a workout for your mighty brain. A formality, I know. Wait, didn't we already go over this? Yes, we did. Okay. Oh, this one. Uh, open the task screen and release the current task. I did it. Okay. As a first step in becoming the world's greatest dictator, it is important that you know how to control the camera so that you can admire your nation at different angles. Practice the different ways to control the camera. Pan, rotate, tilt, zoom in, zoom out. Got it. Whoa, this... Um... Tilt, pan... Did I do it? Tilt the camera up and down. Oh. Ark says, Sleepy, I'm trying to trying something on WoW TBC Classic. I found a way to make 600... I'm gonna guess that's gold. An hour with my Paladin. Oh, what are you doing? What beautiful exploit. Uh, when you want to have a better overview or want to move the camera somewhere else more quickly, Archipelago View is the tool for you. I'm sorry, what now? You can toggle it directly or automatically when continuing to zoom out. When in archipelago view, you can pan and rotate the camera as usual, whereas zooming in will toggle archipelago off again. You can use the archipelago view to get back to your palace in case you lost get lost while getting acquainted with the camera in the previous task. Left stick. Whoa! There's a lot more Tropico in this game. Yikes. Oh, what a day. The palace is nicer than this place. Okay. Controlling time. Now that you've mastered the camera, let us take a look at the ways to control time. You can pause the game and choose from different speed settings. While the time is paused, you can still act, give orders, make decisions. The game world will react to your changes. Uh, when you start the time again. Try different speed settings now. Pause the game, resume the game, set the game to 4x, set the game to normal speed. Uh, oh, decrease game speed. Increase game speed. Indeed. I especially enjoyed marveling at your palace from so many angles and distances. Amazing! After this, maintaining your power throughout a turbulent century, uh, century political challenge, it should be simplicity itself. Your loyal citizens do whatever you tell them to do, Presidente. Sure they do. They are not as loyal as Penultimo, of course. Nobody could be. But they are good for constructing buildings, making transporting goods, and literally keeping the economy ticking over. Complete all tutorial tasks, 05. Oh, we're already moving straight on to lesson 2 without going out to the menu. Nice. If you want the uh, the world's best, uh, the world's greatest dictator, uh, you need to make sure that you have filled a treasury for all necessary expenses. The basic way of making money in Tropico is to produce goods and export them. The dock and the Teamster office are the main drivers of exports. That is a giant paragraph. Where does that show up on screen? Oh, that's fine. Okay. Um... Paladins are premier farming class in this expansion. We are we're fast. Our builds make us both high damage and high durability. The way it works is that you're geared like a tank and use a bunch of caster consumables to increase your holy damage to lofty heights. Then sacrifice some aggressive stuff in the tanking tree would normally take for another set of aggressive powers in another tree that don't that normally don't attract us. Okay. I need to make select the Teamster's office and inspect its description and select the dock and get its description. I gotta say, this Tropico is running pretty slick right now. Teamster's office. Description. Organize the logistics on the island. Transport goods to and from production, processing buildings, transports goods to docks for export. Without a Teamster's office, no good... 
goods ever get moved from one place to another, even with one, don't hold your breath for a swift delivery. And then the dock. Transshipment Center for Logistics handles the important uh, import and export of goods, handles the immigration and immigration of people, decreases the crime and safety nearby. Decreases the crime safety nearby. Noted. On every island in Tropico, docks provide merchant sea seamen the facilities to load and unload cargo, a place for stowaways to acquire free travel services, and scoundrels somewhere to sneak and lurk. The Teamster trucks are already busy transporting corn from your plantation and hides from meat from the ranch to the dock export. By the way, how do I sound, Ulrich? Do I sound clear? There is also a mine that is producing gold, but it's not connected to the Teamster's office by road, so they cannot be reached. Buildings that do not produce temporarily store or receive goods do not require a road connection. Hmm. So I have a mine that's not connected? Construction. Road. Construct roads to connect buildings. Con road connections. Sound good. Cool. Uh, road connections are a requirement to transport goods between buildings. Tropicans can afford cars and tourists can uh, travel via roads from one parking deck to another. Starting with World Wars, road construction can be created. It can also create bridges. Alright. Alright. Trying to get the hang I think I think I have my camera controls backwards. Oh right, I'm gonna go through the shacks. And hooking up the mine. Yeah, we'll just do that. Nobody cares. Now the mine is connected to the road network, the Teamsters will transport gold to the dock. The next freighter will automatically export the gold, earning you money, which is added to your treasury. Every time a freighter arrives, a newsfeed message will be displayed, uh, the money earned from the export. Your current treasury balance is permanently displayed on the top left of the screen. Notice that you will need to have money in the treasury to construct new roads and buildings that at running costs, like building upkeep and wages for workers will deplete your treasury over time. Okay. Uh, and then? Oh, I have to export gold. Well, I'll speed up time to do that. Go little teamsters, go! That is a crazy amount of view. Carl says, but what what this does is makes our consecrate spell super, super effective. It's a large area of ground template AoE. Even the lowest ranks of it are capable of dealing hundreds of damage per second. So with all the stuff I do gather up it looks so tiny from here, but I doubt even you could lift it. About 125 alligators at a time, kite them through cheap a highly effective AoE in a twisting loop around the dark portal and black morass, which is very stonehenge. Alright, have I ever asked you if you played uh, City of Heroes? It warms Penultimo's heart to see the ships coming into Tropico and taking our goods out into the world. Not that we what we make isn't good enough for Tropicans to use, of course. It's just that we make much more money when we sell them to our unsuspecting export partners. I am now going to grab the chat and move it, I think. the heck? Yes. You keep meaning to try it, but you have the attention span of a gnat? Well, I'll definitely try it with you. Um, it's being supported by new people now, 
And uh, all the old content is still in there. All the old content I played, and even some of the stuff that came after I wasn't really playing anymore. So... Hold on. Um... Copy... Okay, hold on. If I come in here and choose properties, I can make this 500. Nope, let's make that 700. Nope, let's make that 600. Let's make this 200. There we go. Move the chat. That should be decently out of the way. Okay. Like, uh, I've had, I had really good experiences with it. It is still my second favorite MMO after Final Fantasy XIV. Hi, Molly. This is Tropico 6. I'm still in the tutorial. I'm just making sure that there's not some new crazy stuff where it's going to trip me up, because I've played like 3, 4, and 5, I'm pretty sure. Oh, thanks, Molly. I was going to do that, but then you showed up, and then I thought there was going to be voting, but we didn't vote, but then... All right. Other sources of income come from... And if you want to catch me live, anybody who might be watching this shenanigans later on YouTube, uh, please do so at twitch.tv slash underpoint. Okay. Other sources of income come from service buildings and residential buildings. Their profit margin is not as big as from exports, but the revenues are regularly credited to your treasury each month as rent or directly in case of visitor fees from service buildings. Construct your first tavern now to provide your citizens with fun and get a little extra income. After confirming the location, construction office, construction office workers are sent to the construction site to erect the building. I understand, Molly. And you know what? I What I should do in the future is plan for there to be a warm-up game, something that I'll play on stream for an hour or two, and then do grab bag, right? Because I don't have a big enough audience to just say, hey guys, show up and vote in grab bag, because I can't just expect the, let's say, kindly, the two to four consistent people who are on stream with me to be there when stream starts, you know, I, I can't really, I can't really put that burden on you guys. So, yeah, yeah, okay. So let's at least get through the, the tutorial of Tropico. Let's see what's up. Construct your first tavern now to provide your citizens with fun and get a little extra income. After confirming the location, construction of construction office workers are sent to the location to site to erect the building. Tenants of residential buildings with green area displayed around the tavern placement will take the tavern into account when looking for fun. Oh! I'm pretty sure 5 didn't do that. Wait, hold on. Am I paused? Why does the play button appear when it's paused and the pause button plays, appears when it's play? That doesn't make any sense. In any event... Oh, not edicts. Hunter Mo, what are you doing? Oh, construction. Um, tavern. Tavern. Uh, rotate building. So those, so those squares specifically? I'm s wait, hold on. What squares? Okay, tenants of residential buildings within the green area displayed around the ta Okay, so that's actually not a very big area. I'm going to need Teamsters to show up and build this building. It's got the little construction marker over it. Some goods can be processed into refined goods that have better export prices. That's the job of industrial buildings in general. You can process the hides from your cattle ranch into leathery leather. I'm sorry, leather using a tannery. Instead of bringing the, them to the dock for export, Teamster Trucks will deliver these hides to the tannery when it's constructed and connected to the road network. 
As long as the tannery is staffed as and has hides in stock, you will use them to produce better la leather. Okay. Build a tannery. Um, I like this radial menu that I don't believe like existed in the same manner before. But you know, it's been a while since I played Tropico on console. Back up to speed. Let me know if I appear to be in the way. I moved the chat a second ago. Alright, we're going to produce leather now. Oryx with the giant paragraphs. But this farming spot plus the skill, uh, skinning tree... Not to discourage you from giant paragraphs, uh, Oryx, like I, like I told Molly uh, the other night. Um, farming spot plus the skinning trade skill, I can net about around 600 GP an hour on average. I can also farm up f that's 185,000 experience points per hour for one other character in my group. I can get a bonus if I can fill the group of about 140% of a full group. Five for, I feel like you, all right, hold on, wait. Group of five for three. Three for 330,000 XP per hour. Each of these seats I can sell for about 120-ish gold per hour, and I net the drop yield they just collect. Four seats at 120. That's a lot of stuff. Oh, as a reminder to uh, Ulrich and anybody else who um, is hanging out on stream right now, please consider voting in the current poll that just got linked in the chat in case you haven't. I think Ulrich has. Um, but in case not, in case you're going to do it later, um, it is exclusively by viewers such as yourselves uh, suggesting what games they'd like to see me play in the next few weeks. And um, that poll is going to be open for at least another two weeks or so. And um, it's ranked choice voting, which means you get to pick your top five choices. Though your top choice is obviously the most important, it's also important that Maybe if a bunch of people have the second or third choice shared with other people, that that has more weight, and that's how ranked choice voting works. I can explain if you have questions, but anyway, remember it's all about stuff. Build stuff to make stuff, build stuff to move stuff, and then build stuff to export stuff so you can stuff your pockets full of money. Of course, it is the Tropic and Treasure Curry that is really getting stuffed. Wink, wink. Um, to Ulrich, I would say, someday I want a decent... Not a survival MMO, exactly, but, like, I want it when somebody like yourself describes what you're talking about, that you're literally killing all the animals in the forest and they won't be around to breed and there won't be any in the future and you're ruining the economy. Like, I kind of want repercussions. And I think one of the ways to balance that would be, like, a corruption element where deforestation and ruining the planet wrecks everything and gives, like, worse monsters or something. I think that'd be interesting. Uh, the best way, the be, the be, the basic plan is to get things to make things to sell abroad. But every step of the way, there's something you do to squeeze more money out of production. Complete all tutorial tasks. Zero I, you know what? I remember other game, other to tropical tutorials having to go back to the main menu and load out and load back in and da da da. This game is just like here's lesson three, and you just keep going, and I like that. All produced goods are exported automatically, but there are some basic ways for you to manage your economy to save costs. Oh, also, supposedly this is stream-friendly music. I have it checked in the options screen. More games, unfortunately, need to do that, but I still like it. It's still tropical music. There's some basic ways for you to manage your economy and save costs. Improve the workflow and increase your profits. And this is what this lesson is about, since you are currently producing leather anyway. You can commit to a leather trade route to get a better price for a certain export volume. You cannot fail a trade route, and you have unlimited time to complete it. Oh. Wait, I go into here for trade route? Oh, I just have a trade route option. Well, alright, tutorial. I see leather. 20% markup above the standard. Nice. Obviously, we... Oh, wait, hold on. I want to complete a trade route, so let's make it a short trade route. Do you want to sign this trade route? Yes. 
With the trade route signed, you want to make sure your tannery has enough heights to keep it from running dry. So let's build an additional cattle ranch. The efficiency of some production buildings depend on certain properties of their location. Okay, I don't think that was the case before. To help you identify a suitable location... Oh, wait, no, 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 I know what they're talking about. The color overlay... Did it identify the so most suitable location for the new cattle ranch by comparing the resulting efficiency modifier, which is previewed in the construction panel? Oh, and Molly, or Ulrich, if you have questions about this game that I am playing, I can tell you how previous games in the series have played, uh, because I have enjoyed them very much. Um, it has a beautiful atmosphere and zany identity that I enjoy. Um, or at least they have. Have a ranch where cattle value is between 90 and 100 and connect the cattle ranch to the road that's connected to an existing road. Okay. Well, since you're leading me by the hand... One of these... Was one of these games on the PS2? I feel like I played one of these games series a long time ago. You know, I don't know if it was on the PS2. I know they were on the PS3 and 360. But it is possible considering... I'm pretty sure the first game I played was 360 and it was... Um, wait, do you want me to build more than one? No, you didn't. Um, I'm pretty sure the first one I played was on 360 and I'm pretty sure that was Tropico 3. Which gives room for two more Tropicos before that. So I'm definitely going to go with maybe on that one. Oh, hold on. You're just not fast forwarding. Box? Oh, you don't have stuff. Oh, that's better. These Zots are better. building has five budget settings with the medium being the default the budget of a production budget of a production building like the cattle ranch determines its wages the attractiveness of its job and its efficiency on a cattle ranch a higher efficiency will lead to a higher production of hides and meat set the budget of the cattle ranches to maximum check the efficiency tab on the building of the ranch wait for cattle ranches to be fully staffed one of two oh, I was actually gonna stop that one from being created um, hold on. Uh, that's in and out camera. Damn, there's not a fast pause? There's not a fast pause. That is unfortunate. Okay. Efficiency scales rate production. Okay. If you have coin to spare, you can purchase building upgrades that permanently improve certain aspects of the building. Install chrome tanning in the tannery. Decreases the consumption of hides by 25%. If you cannot supply enough hides for the tannery to operate efficiently, you can fire workers to save the cost of wages while reducing the rate in which hides are consumed. Fire one worker from the tannery, close one worker slot. Molly says, guess I didn't play Tropico. I don't see where it was ever on console. I played a game like this on PS2 a long time ago. I'm wondering what you're thinking of. PlayStation 2, a game like this. That's hard to answer, because honestly... I don't know any other games like Tropico. I mean, in the vague sense of, you know, SimCity, obviously. City Skylines. They're, they are city-building games when you boil them down. But besides that, nat that quantifiable nature...
Well, let's let's fire the guy. Close slot. Some buildings can operate on different work modes that affect the function of a building. They can improve certain aspects while hindering others or even changing the main purpose of the building entirely. Really? In contrast to upgrades, work modes can be switched any time, allowing you to reach changing circumstances. React, I'm sorry, to changing circumstances. Inspect the work modes of the buildings involved in your leather uh, export chain to further improve the workflow performance. Switch dock work mode from sniffer docks to regular controls. Okay. Work mode, sniffer docks, regular controls. Decreases the generated crime of the dock by 15, decreases the efficiency by 20. Okay. I like these new arrows. Let's see here. Was it was it a was it a set humane exploit? Was it a, um, was it a tropical game, Molly, or was it, like, was there a farm building sim? Like, I'm not sure. So many ways to juice the fruits of a tropical economy. Alright, trade routes for better pay, tweaking supply chains for fun and profit, fire workers to save money, or close job position for even more schadenfreude, not to mention fitting new equipment and changing building productions. On the orders, the power is all in the orders, President Alright, for everybody who is watching on YouTube, since this is a visible break in the tutorial, I'm going to knock it over to this screen, uh, which is the wrong screen, and I'm going to say thank you so much for watching. This has been Tropico 6, unlike what it says up there in the corner, because I didn't have a profile set up for this, but I can get one. Uh, my name is Hunterman, and uh, I'll see you in the YouTubes. I mean the future. Oh wait, I can't just click that button, because this isn't set for that. Ahem, later.